Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Southwest Virginia at Big Stony Creek. Yes, I have moved out of Northern Virginia, thank goodness, and this is also the 100th video on the channel. So I think from here on out, I'm gonna start doing bi-weekly videos instead of weekly videos, still with all the, all the same memes and everything. Anyways, for the 100th video special, I think we're gonna go after pretty much any micro we can find at Big Stony Creek. This is basically where I learned to micro fish. Originally with life listing, I've been going after game fish. I kind of reached the point of uh, diminishing returns where I couldn't just catch, you know, I, I kind of already catch all the game fish. And then I went sampling with a graduate student here, electro fishing, and I saw all these crazy little micros. It's like, oh my gosh, I could up the numbers so much. And so yeah, this creek is basically where the addiction started. And where I started going after all the crazy micros, kind of like this little uh, red lip shiner here, which yeah, all the other fishes down there go to love me for it. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna catch pretty much whatever we can catch. Hopefully, the two micros that I started with here that like really kind of got me into the sport, which are Crescent Shiner and Rosy Side Dace. So let's give those a shot. All right, so I think to start, we're gonna start in that little pool there. Move, move up in here and see if there's anything colorful around. Cool. Well, so I was just fixing the photo tank here. And it was kind of leaking on the back there. And uh, while I was doing that, our little rosy side dace got murked by a crawdad that's hiding in that hole there. So that one's dead. <laughs> We're going to try and catch another one here. All right, so there's our first contestant of the day, Mountain Red Belly Dace, Chrysomus aureus. This is a very fine skilled dace native to i think the new the roanoke and the james particularly in the montane parts and when they're spawning they get a very very brilliant colors on them this one isn't really feeling it at the moment yeah give it a couple weeks anyways that's pretty cool also saw some torrent suckers while i was down there all right so now i kind of really want a torrent sucker so i think we're gonna try maybe in this little pockets here this kind of what torrent suckers like i saw two of them right there no right over there i think and then another two right there but i think this is a lot better and that might be better and that whole that actually looks i'm gonna go up there i'm gonna go right there now right now nope All right, so there is our absolutely stunning fanto darter, Ethiosma flabler or flabellar, however you want to pronounce it there. Uh, definitely the most common fish in the New River, and this one is just an absolute studly male. Like, so studly. You can see why they call it a fanto darter. Uh, because it has that very pronounced banding on the caudal fin there. And yeah, and their heads get really dark when they're spawning. This one, their colors fade away so fast after they get out of the rocks. But uh, that's still a cool fish nonetheless. We're gonna let him go. Try and toss him back wherever his nest is. Yeah, right where I caught him. Cool. All right, so my plan now, I think there's several torrent suckers in this little pool here. And we're gonna put on some uh, a size 20 dry fly with some caddis fly larvas and drop that in front of their faces. I don't The other one was sucking at it, then I was set the hook on it, slipped out of its mouth, and hooked this one on the side. Oh, so close. Oh, oh well, I'm back. Well, I don't think I caught this catch on camera. Anyways, that is our 
black nose dace an absolute huge one at that you can tell it's not a long nose because that upper jaw there does not extend the too far so that is a black nose dace an absolutely studly one probably a western black nose dace for nickthes obtusus because we are in the ohio drainage Now we're trying to find a new spot for uh, some bigger torrent suckers because I was just seeing a bunch of smaller ones over there. All right, so new spot is the sunny run here. And if this doesn't say torrent suckers, I don't know what does. Actually, I think this is a place where we filmed our uh, last big stony video, if you remember that. I'm fairly darn certain this is the same spot. Anyways, hopefully we find a torrent sucker and we can actually get it on camera this time because we couldn't get on camera last time. All right, so there's our torrent sucker, Thobernia rathoka. It's actually a very pretty male, too, I think. You can see those uh, tubercles on the anal fin there and the caudal fin, very beautiful. Um, this is a swift water sucker, a micro sucker, doesn't get very big, lives in very swift water, kind of like that. Honestly likes the runs a bit more. This might not be great habitat for them, but they're very abundant in this creek. And I mean very abundant in Big Stony Creek. So uh, if you need one for the list, <laughs> come to Big Stony. It's out in West Virginia. They all, they're here in numbers. All right, so that was pretty fun. Let's try and get one more on hook and line. Oh, that's a big crawdad. Holy cow. Now, this might be a new river crawdad. There is a species of crawdad endemic to the new river. I don't know. I heard the freshwater ones taste terrible, but uh, pretty <laughs> crazy looking. Oh, that goes. I'm gonna try using this now to get it eat on camera with the with uh, the <laughs> rusty sides, the torn suckers. So let's try that. All right, well, I really liked the angle with that handheld GoPro deal. Uh, got the, the whole eat on camera. wasn't like, you know, bobbing through the, you know, in and out of the water. And I think we got ourselves here a female torrent sucker because does not have the tubercles on the anal fin or the caudal fin, which are used by males for uh, stimulating females into spawning. That's what the tubercles are for and holding on to each other while spawning. But very cool fish. <laughs> I, today I have more than doubled the amount of torrent suckers I've ever caught in my life. So yeah, and, and I, I've been like keying in on these things too. So like, if y'all ever want to catch a torrent sucker, just ring me up. <laughs> torrent sucker charters. There you go. There you go. Another rock. Another rock. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. We caught a pretty good amount of different fish here. None of them were really, like, really in spawning colors, but they were getting there. They were getting there. I think in a week or two, like, the things, the minnows are just going to light up. Just like this red lip shiner, which is actually holding together pretty good, the channel icon here on the, the wetsuit. Anyways, we're definitely going to make a video when the minnows are spawning, and it's going to be absolutely lit, <laughs> literally. So, I'll catch you all then.